Welcome back to Scott's Retros Collectibles. So as you can see guys, the weather's been pretty bad overnight. Everything's frosted over. Uh, and there's literally one row here, this boots out. Shock horror, shock horror. See what we can find. Sun's out. <laughs> Cheers, mate. I'll put you some remote, I'll come back. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, mate. Yeah. Cool, mate. How much you got on the little I've got that PlayStation? Down three quid because it's untested because I haven't got a power lead. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it all looks clean. And yeah, I might take that out. for three quid. That's I've got some other bits and pieces about, but I haven't got to them yet. No, that's right. I'll, I should be looking around. Here you go. Lovely. Thank you. Thanks, mate. Cheers, thanks. Picked up three quid, no wires, untested, but for three quid, and it's looking like mostly one of the bits that I'm only going to find here. Uh, I'll pick it up for that. He said he's got some more, but he's got to get through it, so I will just wait around. Uh, now, you all know I've got tubs of wires and pads, etc. Oh. Oh. How much is your gaming stuff, is it? Uh, uh, just a whole lot for four quid, mate. Whole lot for how much, sorry? Four quid. Uh, yeah, I'll take it. Four quid. That's easily done, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh. No, thanks. I'll put that in there and bung it in the car then. Oh, cheers. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. A whole bundle, no point even looking in there. There's pads, pads, games. Might as well look in the car for a while. We're Jeez, it's freezing. Uh, four quid, guys. 
<coughs> now, if some of the games ain't there, I'm not even too fast. I'll take the cases. Let's get this over here. So no game in Harry Potter. Should have looked at these. Should have looked at them. Street Fighters there. All day with that game. Uh, that's my little PlayStation I paid three pounds for. Uh, Ferrari Challenge in there. I don't know what that is. Little camera for the PlayStation guys. I'm not going to go through these now, but Face Breakers. I think there's going to be some games that are not going to be in there. Face Breakers is in there. Looks like decent games, to be fair. Just there. Lego Pirates of the Caribbean's in there. Uh, we'll go through this in more detail, but got Sonic, uh, Last of Us. I'm not going to turn it down for the whole lot for £4. Lego Star Wars. Sonic, there's a game there for you to turn. Uh, what was that one? That was a pad that came with it. Game Raider. Guys, you see where I'm going with this. The Mega Drive collection. In there. I'm quite happy with this for four pounds. Look at that for a game. Right it's full of games and a few birthday cards, which I am just going to throw away. Uh, there's a camera. I think we've already said about that. Let's get rid of these ones. What's this? Golden ticket, rolled off. Let's get rid of that birthday card. What's this one? House of, House of Dead, Overkill. Oh, it's still sealed as well. Cool. Uh, tell Sean White. Let's just run over here. Nothing special. Masters. Amazing Spider Man. In there. Cool. So, yeah. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a baby scan. Oh. Might give that back to him. Uh, but yeah, smashed it. All those games for four pounds. It's a great start to the morning. Put the wagon there now. Get that out there. Uh, the only one missing, Harry Potter. <coughs> four pounds for the sack. Let's get rid of those. Uh, right, guys. Let the event adventure continue. Sorry, I'm not too sure if you wanted that. That was in there, like a little picture scan, or oh, thank you. just so you've got it just in case. Thanks, there you go, that's all right. I'm glad I come to this one now. That's giving it a little ripping off a little bit at the beginning. It's not quantity, it's quality. Thanks a lot, mate. Cheers. <coughs> yeah, I don't find any enamel badges anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> 
Thank you. How you get them? No, I haven't seen them for a while. No, no, it's not a lot of that. Got about six and a half thousand in doors, but they're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> How much can I need to save? You got the wires or? No, that okay. one I'm going to sell as untested. So I sell oh, yeah. fiber. Got the joy pads to fit me in. Yeah, I know you can fix them because I've done them myself. Okay, and how much is the pad? Um, I'll do three quid on that. That works. I've just got no extra charge in losing that. Thank you. Yeah. Cheers. 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 Ah, oh, cheers. Thank, Thank you. you. Sorry, mate. This guy's just uh, walked off and forgot to pick it up. Was he? So you've got a nice matching pair. <laughs> oh, look at that, never used. Don't move, that's cool. Something different. Ah, uh, yeah. Nice Something shiny. different, we yeah, just keep coming back to this stuff, one. So you put it in the drawer, it don't take up much. No, exactly. <laughs> Definitely don't need any Nintendo Wii stuff. I 
Split up. They're surrounded. They're surrounded me. One fifty for both. Oh, bless you. Thank you, because I haven't got any change. <laughs> yeah. How much is your little ball thing? Gerald? Yeah. How much is the little... Pound. Yeah, I'm going to take it. Only because I, I remember it from my childhood. So I was like, <laughs> I need to pick that up. There you go. Thanks. Thank you. Stop playing ball in the back of the car. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Cheers, thank you. Uh, two pounds. Jeez, this brings up some memories. It keeps me de-stressed. It was 2011. Where's this one? I don't know. I don't know nothing about hats. Well, certain hats. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Last one with the little dinosaurs. And we will call it a day. Nothing standing out retro wise. Sesame Street. No. <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh, you're too quick, mate. Yeah, that's all right. All right, Kelly, how are you doing? Hello, Kelly. How are you? Yeah, I bought a bit of coffee. I don't normally buy it, but. Sorry. Sorry, mate. But I know there's going to be crap here today, so. Yeah. We've got a load more to come out yet, don't we? Yeah. 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 What? Just sit I don't even know much about these. Sorry. Keep finding some more phones we got. Mate. Mate. Some more, oh, bits and pieces, bits and pieces, maybe. Red pad, take that. Sorry, there you go. Sonic Generations. These little bits are in the box at the bottom. Pound each. Okay. 
Keep looking, I'm sure you'll be able to speak. Do you take two? Two? Yeah. yeah. There you go. Thanks, love. Thank you, cheers. Oh, it's not that many, is it? Oh, I don't know little ball. That is. Make the second boot sell. Would have been here soon, I but wasn't for the slowest person. Oh my god, there's about eight cars. Still good. See Jason's here, which means it's a tough one. Uh, no doubt he would have already been round. Trying to get here for half seven. Stuck behind the slowest driver in the world. Oh, this is going to be a tough one. We've got eight cars. Uh, today. Every single piece is there, 100%. Let's see what else there is here. I'll put it back. Guys, we go back to the car and we'll go through what I picked up at the first boot sale when I get home. Uh, conscious I have work today. I've literally rushed out early in the morning just to go to a few boot sales. <clears throat> Second one, definitely shocking. Don't know if it's to do with half term, uh, so 
the kids have broken up from school and that usually means lines for the first weekend no doubt or people gone away on holiday because it's two weeks off uh, with their children so we'll see what happens roll on next week uh, but yeah let's wait till I get in and I'll show you what I've got some good bits and pieces in terms of gaming from the first boot sale welcome back to Scott's retro collectibles so I was going to do the pickups this time from home instead of at the car because I've been working the weekend and I quickly popped out super early just to check a couple of the local boot sales so the very local ones the ones where it won't take me long to walk around at all I left the big boot sale alone I wasn't expecting to find much, not gonna lie. I thought it was all right. I thought there's a lot of gaming stuff. I saw some new regulars as well. I say new regulars, obviously going to those smaller boot sales now. Uh, I think it was a family of three and they were going around just picking up gaming bits and pieces as well. So I definitely had to have my wits about me today. They picked up some brilliant pieces. So I know they picked up a PlayStation 3, uh, an X, original Xbox with all those bits and pieces. I think I might've got, had it in a video, uh, 10 pound for the lot crazy prices uh but let's go through what i found today so i went to alpington boot sale uh tripes i thought it was okay it was two rows there was a house clearance person who was just clearing out loads of electrical goods and that's where i started off and i picked up the playstation mini which is in this sack in this sack of goodies so i picked up the playstation mini i'm happy with that it's got no wires right so he did say untested oh why ain't it closing now no yeah there you go so I did pick up the PlayStation Mini, £3. Uh, so he said it wasn't tested and he didn't have the wires. I don't mind taking a gamble on these things, especially for the Mini. I've got two tubs full of different wires, accessories and bits and pieces. And you would have seen through the boot sale that I actually come across a tub on his stall that had uh, mostly all Xbox and a couple of Nintendo Wii wires uh, and a few joy pads. Now the joy pads were either missing the dongle bits at the end for the original Xbox or the Xbox 360 pads were missing the battery backs. Uh, pack pieces so i left those uh but i did pick up some other bits and pieces from him so the other bits and pieces i picked up from him guys uh i'm trying to look for them all now where is it there is definitely one game there's a couple of memory cards as well all from the same stall all from the same stalls as you would have seen i don't even know what else i'm looking for now oh there should be so it's in it's in there somewhere we'll get to that uh so i picked up from him three pound for the playstation mini uh, five pound for a PSP which had the Mega Drive game collection in it, and the little uh, joypad fun piece was broken off. He said you can fix it. I'm not too sure. Now I have got two kind of I call them spare and repair PSPs, so I could just use that with that one and get one of them working, uh, no doubt, or maybe two out of the three. Uh, but I also picked up from him a PlayStation 3 pad, which I'm always after the PlayStation 3 pads. I've got a few of the wires. Need a few more of the just the charging. Uh, USB pieces for the PlayStation 3, but always picking up the pads when I see them. Now, pick that up, put that over there, and drop off. <clears throat> I, I believe this is a PlayStation 2 pad. Now, it's missing the covering for one of the little analogs. Uh, however, yeah, it is PlayStation 2, isn't it? I'm hoping it works. I need to test it. He did say it worked. Uh, I've never seen the red one before, Red Sea 3. I think I had a blue one years ago, but I've not seen the red one it'd usually say on the back wouldn't it what it's for but doesn't say my eyes are not that good either uh, but yeah picked up that so i picked up this sonic generations which was decent everything's in there instructions game sonic generations the pad and two memory cards for two pound so i thought that was a good pickup from the same store as the uh mini ps and the first joypad now you would have seen there was plenty of games on there because they put out a tub nothing that interested me uh, there was a few other bits and pieces, Nintendo Wii's. I just left the Nintendo Wii's. I don't know if someone brought those. Uh, now, the one where I thought I'd done the most on was I went to this. So I was walking up and down, walking up and down. Then I thought I'm going to go right to the first stall. And it was a man and a lady selling bits and pieces. Uh, just clear. I think he was just clearing all his stuff out. There was clothes there, belts, uh, old toys. And then he had a whole black bag full of, uh, you would have seen it, PS3 games. And I said, oh, how much are your games? So he didn't give me a price for a game. He just said £4 for the black bag full of full of games. So when he says that, I've just got to go, right, OK, yeah, I have it. So I gave him the £4. Uh, now, I should have asked there and then, is there a PlayStation 3? Because he did have a PlayStation 3, which he sold to the other chap who was going around with his family buying other bits and, uh, other bits and pieces in terms of game-related. 
<clears throat> but I've already got enough PlayStation 3s down here to last me a lifetime. Uh, however, it, there was a pad in there, white pad. So I've got two of these now. Uh, but yes, another white pad for the PlayStation 3. And then there was a camera in there as well. Weird. Weird that there's a camera. Don't know what. I'm assuming this is for the PlayStation 3 as well. Microphone camera. Okay, so you've got the microphone and camera, uh, which is there. That's the PlayStation 3. And then game wise, there was quite a few guys. So we'll go through them now and I'll quickly just put them up. So there's F1. Uh, all games are there apart from one. And I'll let you know which one that is. I would have showed you in the video. But you got F1 Racing, 2010. An empty case, which was FIFA, because it's got it there. So I will leave that out. Uh, Face Breakers. Looks like a decent game, to be fair. Again, everything's in there. Ferrari Challenge. All for £4. Oh, let's just keep grabbing these out. Sonic Unleashed. Star Wars. Lego. Star Wars 3. Uh, the Last of Us. Keep picking up The Last of Us now. I've got a few of these. Uh, Pirates of the Caribbean. Again, I don't know why I'm checking them. I've already checked them. Uh, Amazing Spider-Man. I need to check values on this. I don't know how much this goes for. Because there is one that goes for a little bit of money. I don't know if it's this or number two. Uh, but I will leave that one out. Uh, sports. What is it? Sport Champions. Uh, Motor GP. Capcom. Can't be a Capcom. That feels quite heavy, actually. That's the manual. Uh, Soul Calibur 4. It looks decent. It's got Darth Vader and it's got like a uh, printer in it. I haven't got that one. Uh, yeah, Street Fighter, Super Street Fighter 4. Happy with that. There is loads in here, guys. Four pounds. So this is the only game that wasn't in there. So the Harry Potter uh, Lego Year 5 to 7. Uh, I know it's it, it's got a little bit of trading, but I'm not too fussed. I think everything else is still worth the four pounds. Tomb Raider. Sonic Tennis. I want to get rid of this bag as well. Yeah, this was a decent one. I didn't really know this was on there. Um... Uh, I'm going to try and see. I know it's in there because I could see it. Yeah, it's in there. It's still sealed from game to where they've brought it. But it's House of the Dead Overkill Extended Cut. I like that. Uh, so, yep, yeah, that was part of it. Masters. No, Masters isn't in there, see? So, Masters isn't in there. That's in there, LA. Random book. Uh, Willy Wonka. Sean White skateboarding. Call of Duty, Advanced Warfare. I didn't check some of these, but they're all in there. This one isn't in there. I've already got this sealed as well, but I, I'm happy just to have the cases. Uh, this one's in there. Flashpoint, Red River. <clears throat> uh, Gran Turismo 6 isn't in there. FIFA 10 disc. Gran Turismo 5. A, a random charger. Now, that's the PSP from the previous. Paid £5. And it's the Sega Mega Drive collection. So I'm happy with that. Just leave that in there. Uh, yeah. Mega Drive. Oh, there you go. Mega Drive collection. Mega Drive Ultimate collection on the PlayStation. Three. Now there should be two memory cards. Yes, there is. I'm throwing that bag as well. And then two memory cards that would have come with that first bundle that I told you about. The red joypad, the Sonic Generations, and two memory cards for two pound. Uh, bargain. Absolutely. I thought I'd done all right today, gaming wise. A lot of PlayStation bits and pieces, but I'm happy just to find anything at the moment. There's a lot of people around this year. So in terms of game wise, let's take that one away. And just leave it over here. Four pounds. Uh, got me all these games, which are complete here, and then got me about five, will he say? One, two, three, four, five, six empty cases as well, which is fine. Uh, four pound is not a great deal of money. No doubt one of these games, uh, oh, there's a hair on it, there's a hair. Uh, the PlayStation Mega Drive, etc. One of the Sonic games, or even a Soul Calibur, you know, Last of Us, one of those, no doubt, will uh, give you your money back in terms of four pounds. So I'm happy with those. Happy with those, going to put those empty cases on top. So that was it in terms of for boot sale pickups. And no, it wasn't because there was this bad boy. And you can tell 
I've absolutely fallen in love with it. Some will say I overpaid a pound for the Coca-Cola little, I call it a stress ball. It's more like a, uh, oh, what is it? It's a keepy uppy ball, isn't it? I don't know what the word is for it. Uh, but yeah, I remember these. These these are 90s. I remember these. Uh, yeah, so you would have seen me just walking around with this everywhere. And I've had it with me ever since. I've not let go of it because I've been working today. And if you start stressing out huh, while I'm at, like, on, on my laptop, just give it a little squeeze. Uh, so yes, brought that for a pound. I thought I'd done all right today. Given I only went to one, I went to two boot sales, let's be honest. Two boot sales. The first one, gaming. Second one, I got there for half seven when it opened. There was absolutely nothing there. Just about one line you would have seen in the video. I left a little bit of the footage in, uh, but nothing really, a little bit disappointing. So I finished and left there quite quickly. Uh, but apart from that, I thought it was a good day considering I went to a small boot sale. Uh, so really happy with that. So on that note, I'm going to leave it there. Let me know your thoughts and views in the comments below. Uh, guys, thanks for watching. Next week, I will be going to a couple more bigger boot sales. So it's a strange one. Now all the boot sales start. So literally, I've got to choose one that I'm going to go to and commit to that boot sale because you, you need to be there early. That's the key. The key to finding stuff is getting there early. So you need to be there between half five, what I see, half five and six uh between that time some people will tell you they're there at half four and they're waiting in the car park i'm not that committed just yet i think i'm committed enough still going at half five till six and when i get there there's people still in and out of boots etc the hardcore i call them the hardcore uh boot sell buyers uh but yeah that half five to half six window you have to commit to a boot sale and go i think if you go to one after you're kind of missing out so there's two next week two big boot sales uh both stuff well, one's already started and one is starting uh, and it'd be which one I commit to go into. And then you've just, yeah, you just got to go there and find what you can find. But on that note, guys, it's going to be a good couple of weeks with the boot sales now. I'm not working any more weekends till May, uh, which is fantastic. Uh, so, yeah, let's see what I can find at the next boot sale. Woo, bring it on. I'm happy now. I'm happy I found these. What did, what's my find of the day? What's my find of the day going to be? Everyone's going to go, have you picked that up and said, that's fine end of the day? I love this thing. Absolutely love it. But guys, let's leave it there. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you again next time. I've done it to the wrong screen. What am I doing? Right, guys, I'm going now.